Hi, I'm Georgia Woods and welcome to Go Fly Online. Today we will be looking at aerodrome markings. While this video is focused on the Australian rules and regulations, these markings are also used internationally. The first marking we will look at is the White Cross. The White Cross means that the aerodrome is unserviceable. If you are flying over the aerodrome and see the White Cross, you cannot land at the aerodrome. If you are about to taxi and see the White Cross, you cannot take off and use the runway. The second symbol we'll look at is the two white crosses joined together. This symbol means that gliding operations are in progress. The most common form of gliding operations is when another aircraft tows the gliding aircraft in the air. Because gliders are non-powered, you must give way to them. So if you see this symbol, be on the lookout and be prepared to give way to any gliders in the circuit. Some gliding operations use a winch line meaning the gliders are towed into the air by a large land-based line. This line can often reach heights of up to 1,500 feet. So care must be taken if flying at an aerodrome with a winch tow line. And it is important not to fly over a runway that has a tow line on the active runway. The third symbol is the dumbbell. A white dumbbell signifies operations are confined to hard surface runways, aprons and taxiways only. This is usually due to the ground outside of the sealed areas being rough or too soft to handle aircraft movements. You risk getting your aircraft bogged or damaging the propeller if you leave the runway. Some aerodromes might have both a sealed and a grass runway. And after heavy rain, the grass runway may be closed and the sealed runway still open. The fourth symbol we need to be aware of is the white cone with red stripes. A white cone with red stripes around it signifies an unserviceable area. It could signify a pothole on the taxiway or parking area, and the cone has been placed there to stop an aircraft from taxiing over the hole and getting damaged. They could also be used to close off a taxiway if it is too soft after rain or the ground has been damaged in some way. If you see one of these, stay well clear. The fifth item we need to look out for is our boundary markers. Boundary markers mark the edge of runways and taxiways. Yellow cones mark the edge of taxiways and parking aprons. White cones or long white pyramid-like structures signify the edge of our runway. Hopefully you would have checked the no terms before taking off or landing at an aerodrome. However, many aerodromes do not have a no term service. And there could be a situation where you are flying to an aerodrome that has been closed at short notice. It's always a good idea to check for aerodrome markings when you are checking the windsock prior to landing. For more information on aerodrome markings, go to the general section of the website vfrg.casa.gov.au, then go to aerodrome markings. If you thought this video was helpful, you might like to subscribe to our YouTube channel or to visit gofly.online to see our other flight training videos. Happy and safe flying and see you next time on Go Fly Online.